first off, so good to see you again. Yeah. All right. Yeah, good seeing you. You are so process oriented. I watched you go about your craft, hitting defense throughout the WBC. Take me. Where are you at at this point in spring? I mean, uh, slowly but surely building up. Uh, I think I got three games in a row for the first time because for me, like, one thing I, I pride myself in is being always being available. And right now we're, I mean, I'm getting getting a good amount of at-bats, but now I want to start getting a higher volume of innings so I can be out there for uh, hopefully 162 plus. Offensively. I always say this, you're on the short list of guys that you can pencil in 40 and north of a hundo, mm -hmm. right? What are you doing in the cage or have you made any adjustments coming into this season? Uh, honestly, uh, it's not really adjustments. I would call it more refinements. I yeah. just want to like just continue to polish and uh, keep mastering a strike zone and then capitalize on pitches in, when uh, when the pitch is in my area. That's I mean, that's basically it. What do you chase? I know you chase homers and ribbies, but are you chasing certain numbers? Did the batting average last year bug you? Well, I, it, yeah, I'd, I'd yeah. be lying if I said it didn't. But also, like, I looked at my uh, – my strikeout rate, it, it was pretty low yeah. uh, comparative to other years in, in years past for me. And uh, I continue to hit the ball hard. I mean, I had some bad luck, but there's a lot of areas that I feel like I didn't do a good job of. And I think, uh, like, there's some certain counts that I definitely need to prove upon, like 3-2 count and uh, I think, like, advanced pitcher counts. Obviously, like, batting average goes down with two strikes, but I feel like if I can minimize chase yeah. in, those, uh, in those high leverage counts, I feel like I can be way more effective whether it be taking a walk or uh, staying nice, compact, short, big part of the field. Uh, again, like you get a lot of production that way, and you can um, just being on base, you can kind of start the merry-go-round and uh, start a rally that way. So just want to be more of a continue to be a well-rounded well hitter. Yeah. All right. I grew up in the Northeast. Obviously, I know how hard it is to play there, and you have endeared yourself to these fans. Mm -hmm. Just an awesome guy that produces. How much would it mean to you to work something out and be like a lifelong Met potentially? I've thought about it and it's something that I I really take pride in, in being a Met and representing the city yeah, of New do. York. It's it's such a sick place to play. <laughs> um, I mean it's 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 truly it's truly a blessing to represent the city of New York and to represent Queens. And I mean, right now I'm just wanna Want to put thing. out, yeah, help the team win. That's all I want to do, and the contract stuff will, will work itself out. But I just want to, I'm focused on getting ready for the season and then putting it all out there every single day. All right, well, I'm always pulling for you. You yeah. know that. Yeah. 50 and a buck 30, and Why then not? take it to free agency and see what happens. Why not? All right, Rolflow, back to you.